welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the graphs of the inverse trigonometric functions secant inverse x and cosecant inverse x. First of all, let us discuss the graph of secant inverse x. Now, trigonometric functions are in general not 1, 1 on 2. Therefore, their inverse do not exist but if we restrict the domains, then they become 1, 1 on 2 and hence we can have their inverses. Now let us define a function f from the set of real numbers excluding the open interval minus 1 to 1 to the closed interval 0 to pi excluding pi by 2 by f of x is equal to secant inverse x. Now the domain of secant inverse x is a set of real numbers excluding the open interval minus 1 to 1 that is Secant inverse x is defined for x is less than equal to minus 1 and x is greater than equal to 1. And its range is the closed interval 0 to pi excluding pi by 2. Now let y is equal to f of x is equal to secant inverse x that is let y is equal to secant inverse x. Now let us draw the graph of y is equal to secant inverse x. Now y is equal to secant inverse x implies x is equal to secant y. Now first of all, for the different values of x and y, let us draw a table. So we have drawn a table. Now in this equation, for y is equal to 0, x is equal to secant 0, which is 1. So for y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. Then for y is equal to pi by 6, x is equal to secant pi by 6 which is equal to 2 by root 3 which is equal to 1.15. So for y is equal to pi by 6, x is equal to 1.15. Now for y is equal to pi by 4, x is equal to secant pi by 4 which is equal to root 2 which is equal to 1.41. So for y is equal to pi by 4, x is equal to 1.41. Now for y is equal to pi by 3, x is equal to secant pi by 3 which is equal to 2. So for y is equal to pi by 3, x is equal to 2. Now, for y is equal to 2 pi by 3, x is equal to secant 2 pi by 3, which is minus 2. So, for y is equal to 2 pi by 3, secant y, that is x, is equal to minus 2. Now, for y is equal to 3 pi by 4, x is equal to minus root 2, which is minus 1.41. So, for y is equal to 3 pi by 4, x is equal to minus 1.41. And now, for y is equal to 
5 pi by 6 x is equal to secant 5 pi by 6 which is equal to minus 2 by root 3 which is equal to minus 1.15 so for y is equal to 5 pi by 6 x is equal to minus 1.15 And similarly, for y is equal to pi, x is equal to secant pi, which is minus 1. Now, for drawing the graph of y is equal to secant inverse x, we will plot all these points on the graph. Now, in the graph, we have taken 10 small divisions is equal to 1 along the x-axis. And 5 small divisions is equal to pi by 6 along the y-axis. Now, for drawing the graph, first of all we will plot the point 1, 0 on the graph. Now, this is the required point on the graph. Now, we will plot the point 1.15 and pi by 6 on the graph. Now, this is the required point on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all the points on the graph. So, we have plotted all the points on the graph. Now, we know that the equation of this line is y is equal to pi and the equation of the x-axis is y is equal to 0 and this is the line whose equation is y is equal to pi by 2. Now by joining the points which we have plotted, we are getting the graph of y is equal to secant inverse x. Now here you can see that y increases from 0 to pi by 2 as x increases from 1 to plus infinity. And also we can observe that y increases from pi by 2 to pi as x increases from minus infinity to minus 1. Also you can see that secant inverse minus 1 is pi and secant inverse 1 is 0. And secant inverse x is defined for x is less than or equal to minus 1 and x is greater than or equal to 1. As we can say that secant inverse x is the angle lying between 0 and pi whose secant is x excluding pi by 2 but including 0 and pi. Now let us discuss the graph of the secant inverse x. Now let us define a function f from the set of real numbers r excluding the open interval minus 1 to 1 to the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 excluding 0 by f of x is equal to cosecant inverse x. Now, the domain of cosecant inverse x is the set of real numbers excluding the open interval minus 1 to 1. Therefore, Cosecant inverse x is defined for x is less than or equal to minus 1 and x is greater than or equal to 1 and its range is the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 excluding 0. Also, as x tends to 0, from the positive values
then cosecant inverse x tends to infinity and as x tends to 0 from the negative values then cosecant inverse x tends to minus infinity. Now let y is equal to f of x is equal to cosecant inverse x that is let y is equal to cosecant inverse x. Now let us draw the graph of y is equal to cosecant inverse x. Now y is equal to cosecant inverse x implies x is equal to cosecant y. Now let us draw a table for the different values of x and y. Now y is equal to cosecant inverse x. Now we put the different values of y and we will get the corresponding values of x from this functional equation. So putting y is equal to pi by 6, x is equal to cosecant pi by 6 which is 2. Now putting y is equal to pi by 4, x is equal to cosecant pi by 4 which is root 2 which is 1.41. Now for y is equal to pi by 3, x is equal to cosecant pi by 3, which is equal to 2 over root 3, which is 1.15. Now for y is equal to pi by 2, x is equal to cosecant pi by 2, which is 1. Then for y is equal to minus pi by 6, x is equal to cosecant minus pi by 6 which is minus 2 then for y is equal to minus pi by 4 x is equal to cosecant minus pi by 4 which is minus 1.14 and then for y is equal to minus pi by 3 we get x is equal to minus 1.15 and then for y is equal to minus pi by 2, x is equal to minus 1. Now for drawing the graph of y is equal to cosecant inverse x, we will plot all these points on the graph. Now again for the graph we have taken 10 small divisions is equal to 1 along the x-axis and 5 small divisions is equal to pi by 6 along the y-axis. First of all, let us plot the point 2 pi by 6 on the graph. So we have plotted this point on the graph. Now let us plot the point 1.41 with pi by 4 on the graph. So this is the required point on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all the points on the graph. Now we have plotted all the points of the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting the graph of y is equal to cosecant inverse x. And here this is the line whose equation is y is equal to pi by 2. And the equation of x axis is y is equal to 0. And this is the line whose equation is y is equal to minus pi by 2. Now, here you can see that y decreases from 0 to minus pi by 2 as x increases from minus infinity to minus 1. And also y decreases from pi by 2 to 0 as x increases from 1 to plus infinity. And cosecant inverse minus pi by 2 is minus 1. And cosecant inverse pi by 2 is 1. Also, cosecant inverse x is defined for x is less than or equal to minus 1. And it is defined for x is greater than or equal to 1. 
And from the graph, we can also say that cosecant inverse x is the angle lying between minus pi by 2 and pi by 2, that is cosecant inverse x, which is equal to y, is an angle lying between minus pi by 2 and pi by 2, whose cosecant is x, excluding 0, but including minus pi by 2 and pi by 2. So in this session, you have learned about the graphs of y is equal to secant inverse x and y is equal to cosecant inverse x. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.